having a triple monitor sub can really go a long way. It can really yield some interesting results for productivity and multitasking. But is it really worth picking up and using it with a laptop? Hey, it's your favorite 23rd letter of the alphabet. It's V. Let's get started. I will send a triple monitor setup from a company called Basel. This can be picked up off Amazon under $300. Is it really worth the price though? Inside the box, you get the USB Type A to Type C cable, USB C to HDMI, two USB Type C to Type C cables, every type of cable needed for a proper connection inside of the box. Because I own a MacBook Pro, I just need the Type C to Type C cable cables. These displays are either HDMI connection or USB Type-C. None of these support a Thunderbolt connection. The carrying case has a pocket on the front side for whatever cables are needed. Also, it has Velcro straps to keep everything closed. With my scale, it weighs around 1600 grams, so about 4 pounds. My 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro weighs about the same. With a plastic carbon fiber shell on the outside, it's nice to look at. This will work with most laptops from 13 inches up to 7 17 inches. Both screens are 14 inches, 1080p monitors. They each have a 60 hertz refresh, so they're not really ideal for gaming. They can go up to 300 nits of brightness. Each screen has 180 degrees of rotation. These screens can be used with a whole variety of different devices. It's a simple plug and play solution for anyone on the go. The backside has a kickstand, which can be adjusted to various different angles. It has a plastic flap on top, two rests on top of the screen. The volume rockers are neat side. It also controls the menus for each monitor. Bottom firing speakers. It sounds passable. It doesn't have the most bass. It should be fine for most people. On the back side of each monitor, there are three inputs. Two of them are USB-C and one is only HDMI. These are only used for charging and video signal. They do not support data transferring. Once opened, the midsection does extend out to accommodate a variety of different laptop sizes. Any screen from 13 inches to 17 inches. The flap on top make sure it's up. It does rest on top every laptop screen. When closing everything up, make sure the flap is down so it doesn't pierce either of the screens. Comparing it to my 14 inch laptop, it's about the same dimensions all the way around. It's also double the thickness of my MacBook Pro. While traveling with this, it is a little bit bulky, but it is not the worst. It's comparable to carrying around a second laptop in any bag. Testing this out with my 14 inch laptop, it works pretty seamless. A simple plug and play solution solution all in one. Simply unfold each side, flip up the flap, slide the screen into the rails, plug in both cables. It really only takes about a minute to set everything up. With a smaller 14 inch MacBook Pro, the extra weight of the hinge of the screen doesn't quite support the weight compared to bigger laptops. I do recommend using the kickstand to offset the weight, putting more weight on the kickstand. With my setup, I just need the Type-C to Type-C cables and nothing else. Some laptops require HDMI to Type-C, depending on the I.O. of each laptop. On the back side, once everything is plugged in, the red indicator light will turn blue. Running two external monitors will drain your laptop's battery a bit faster. With most portable monitors, colors won't be as accurate as my laptop screen. Colors do look a little washed out, and the panels are not as good as what Apple uses. The volume rockers on top control the menus for brightness, speakers, and a whole variety of other settings. The default resolution is 960 by 540. I just have to go into my settings of my MacBook Pro and change them to 1080p. With the bump up of resolution, text and images do look a bit more crisp. One thing I have noticed with both monitors plugged in, I can only use one speaker at a time. I can't use both. This might be an issue with Mac OS. I have to manually select which side I want to use for each speaker. Within about 30 minutes of using the monitors, my laptop's battery has already dropped 7%. Just plug any charger into the Type-C port on the backside. It does offer pass-through charging. None of these ports offer data transferring, so you cannot daisy chain any external storage or anything else. Comparing both images from my main display to the portable one, you can see colors do look a little washed out. The blacks are a bit more grayish. These are not the best.
us for color accurate projects or color correction. These excel well for adding extra screens to my personal workflow. Recently, I did upgrade to the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. I wanted to know how it works with the triple monitor setup. Same thing as before, just open everything up and slide it in. With a bigger screen, the hinges do support the weight better overall. Always put more weight on the kickstand and not the hinge. For myself personally, I do more video and audio editing than anything else. Having extra screens helps improve my overall workflow. Moving tools and raw footage to review on separate screens opens up my main screen for more core work. With that notion, using my iPad, screen mirroring adds a fourth one with Sidecar. While out and about, I could have four screens at any point, and trust me, they are useful. Most people will never really need these mini monitors, but the few of you out there that do, it is a nice mobile setup. At the same time, because this is a plug and play solution, these screens can be used with a whole variety of different devices, other computers, tablets, Nintendo Switches, Steam Decks, really the sky is the limit. Using both my iPads for comparison, they offer video out, the M1 Pros offer Stage Manager, it's simply a plug and play solution and that's all. If anyone's backpack can accommodate this setup, I would recommend it because it just offers so much more. For the price under $300, it adds extra value to anyone's workflow. Typically, I go to the library to find a quiet place to work. The tables here are kind of small. With my 16 inch laptop, it looks comically big. Nothing else can really fit on the table. With a triple monitor setup, it easily allows me to have two extra screens, just enough to be cozy here. This is one of the main benefits of having a triple monitor setup like this. You get so much extra without needing a lot of space here. This type of device is good for traveling without taking up a whole lot of space. I can have my main screen for my script, research materials on the smaller screens. For the price under $300, this is one of my new travel companions. So this type of product really does help reinvent my own workflow. So like always, it's V. Stay classy.